Welcome to another day of Big Pets Under the Hood. Today I'm back working on the C10 today, and I got a arrangement of parts here, and I'm gonna get ready to uh, inspect the parts and see what I need, and I'm gonna pull the crankshaft out. As mentioned earlier, this is a uh, 82 short wheelbase Silverado. I bought the truck brand new in 1982. As you can see, this is the motor that came out of the truck. It's also a 1982. And for those of you who don't know, this is what they call a four bolt main engine. Most engines that you'll see will only have these two bolts here. They have these, these two bolts. They won't have the outer splay bolts. So it, at one point, that was what GM was calling their heavy duty engines. This is a uh, completely stock engine, no cam, no high compression pistons, none of that but uh, I'm still moving forward with it because I'm gonna keep it for a future project. The engine that I'm gonna build is a, another 454 that's in my garage. This is the oil pan for it here. So I'll just clean the oil pan out and knocking out a few dents on the pan that were in the pan, knocking, knocking a few dents out, getting it ready. I need to get it welded up or whatever. And uh, this is the intake manifold that came off the engine that's in the garage. This is what they call a low-rise intake manifold, and it's for a truck. You know that by the, the pattern in which is on the uh, boards, on the spread boards. This one here is a car manifold. You know a car manifold by two things. One, it will have an EGR valve, and it will have a heat riser, and those are cars. But neither one of these manifolds will be going on either of those engines that is going to go in this truck or this engine here that's going to go in the Chevelle that I'm about to buy in a couple of months. So just had them and uh, I'm going to discard them and get, and, uh, get rid of them. But a as you can see, this truck had headers on it and everything like that. And there's the Monte Carlo. There's Bumblebee. I'm going to let the Monte Carlo run a little bit because uh, I've been out of town and it hadn't had a chance to run in this cold weather. But I'm going to I'm going to get it running and uh, let it run. And as I was speaking about the two bolt main, I will show you all what a two bolt main is, which the majority of the engines that you will buy. That's a GM or Ford Chrysler engine it will be a two bolt motor they 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 uh nobody really did uh jim was the only ones who did the four bolts they did four bolts on this engine right here this is what's called a two bolt main this is a stock two bolt main block it has been bored forty thousands over but this is a stock block if it would have been a heavy duty block and what would have happened, well, these caps said here, it would have had the additional two bolts. And what it does, it rides up further, and then they, they drill into it and put the other bolt there. But this is, this right here is a two-bolt main. This is the engine that I will be <laughs> rebuilding for to go in that C10 there. It's already, it's already 40 thousandths over. This engine here is already... 40,000 is over, so I'll be rebuilding this engine to go in that C10. It needs to be it needs to be a line board because here, right here, I'm fitting a little bit, a, li a li little ridge there. Fitting a little ridge there. I'm not feeling down there or here or here, but I am feeling one there. And so I'm going to have this engine a line board. And this is a 1978 block, a GM uh, aftermarket block. Pretty good deal, but I'm gonna have it line board. But uh, there's Bumblebee. And here's the, the Monte Carlo. But just wanted to post and show you all the differences between uh, four bolt mains stock blocks and all that stuff like that so you'll know if you decide that you want to build an engine 
uh, the LSs are six bolt mains because they have four bolts on the caps and then they have a bolt on each side of the main. So they are true six bolt main engine and they're heavy duty. They're a heavy duty engine and uh, good platform. GM took all of the mistakes that they made earlier with the earlier engines and they took the LSs and did that. Even with the uh, cylinder heads, the small block, the number uh, the, the, the number two, I mean the number four and six, and the three and five exhaust ports were Siamese together. But when they made the LS, they used the same design like on a big block where the ports are individual. And that's what they did with the, with the LS, which makes it breathe a lot better and the engine just a more it's, it's just a, a much better platform but for all of you guys who still like the traditional iron the 454s the 396s you know the uh 455 the 455 oldsmobile pontiac and burics hey there's it's nothing wrong with them they the, they were the workhorse and the power horse for years so there's nothing wrong with them the ls is just a new thing and it's a combination of everything but uh like i say when you're building a vehicle you always start you buy the body whatever that's going to do but when you do the engine you you you, you already know you know have a, a idea of which path you want to take if you want to do an ls you want to do fuel injection you want to do carburetor it doesn't matter the, the gamut is yours but as far as cost these days, if you don't already have an engine transmission, then the best way to go is to go buy a 5360-62, you know, whatever you can get your hands on, whatever your budget allows, and just build that because you'll be much better for it. The, the gamut of parts is just phenomenal of what you can do with a late mauler, with a late mauler engine. Plus, you, you have the ability to go carburetor, fuel injected or whatever you know and the aftermarket has spent the last 10 years developing cost effective situations as far as for parts that you can build it mile to wide so like i say just whatever you want to do do it remember subscribe share like comment share share the video share the video and uh have a great day and i'll post again the the next segment thanks